What is up, you guys? It's your boy Taxi on the lens, man. Um, oh well, Taxi PNG, but you know, you know what it is, bro. So today we're about to hop into some editing. I'm about to like kind of do like a, another behind the scenes of my work. Why is this thing so hard to like? But I'm trying to get it like closer to like an easier point in my mouth so that way I don't have to do so much moving around. But what's up, you guys? Um, whole lot of gas. It's your boy Taxi. You know what I'm saying? Back at it again. Make sure I see that logo a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying turn that thing around. Y'all see that right there? Yeah. But we about to hop right into it, man. I'm just doing a little bit of like um, another like one of the workflow videos. I got you guys like this one, like my um, Photoshop workflow, like editing workflow. I got some chicken on deck, so um, we're busting that down. Polynesian sauce and some um, arroz. Just made this. This came from the gym. I know you probably don't care, but so these are all of the photos. I did like a little PSD collab with PSD and Jules. You guys know Jules. We had like a little um a little shoot with PSD. We had like a little shoot with PSD. I put my phone on like D and D because I be trying to um film. So I put my phone in film mode so that way I know like so I know I'm filming and other people know. You know, other people know, but like, I just don't need to get distracted while I'm doing this. You know? Yeah. So first thing, literally, I just drop all my photos into here. Place. What's going on? Is it? There we go. Okay, everything's glitching out because I'm screen recording, I'm guessing. All right, okay, and I'm also in this this mode. All right, basically, but first thing I do is try to like do some skin retouching. The reason I do skin retouching in Lightroom is because like, for some reason, bro, I literally don't know why I have no idea, but for some reason within Lightroom, it just works so much better. Like when you do the skin retouching and the removing of background and stuff like that, it just works so much better in Lightroom. Like, like, than Photoshop, I don't know. I feel like it just works. I feel like it's just better if you like retouch it prior to um you know drain anything else let me try to see if i can close all these stuff out kind of make sure that everything that i don't need is closed out so that way like we get the best best performance okay bet making sure that my brightness is all the way up too for one cool and now we're hitting all of the little spots that we feel like are gonna like be a problem later like if you notice i don't know but like it kind of re retains some texture bro like it re i feel like it retains more texture than it does in photoshop itself for some reason so i kind of just like doing this in here like i'll even do like a spot heel like i might use like you know the clone stamp heel and stuff like that also to like try to like you know basically like rem like use another portion of um the skin to replace that part of the skin so i don't know i don't know why but to me it just works it works really good in here and then like i could do it again in photoshop but for some reason it just works it works it works like how i need it basically like i don't really need much more than this and what i'm getting when it comes to you know trying to do this retouch so but let's see let's see boom i'm using my wacom tablet the link is in the um it's gonna be in the description it's on my amazon storefront i have it on there too bro casper don't start please please don't start please don't start not right now bro let's see so to make the brush bigger is right bracket Make the brush smaller, it's left bracket. Let's see. There we go. Boom. Boom. Nice and easy. There we go. Nice and easy. Left bracket, right bracket. When he hears me talking, he just for some reason just wants to like act up because he's like, oh, who are you talking to? Like, it's not me you're talking to. So you're obviously talking to someone else. So he's like, where's that person at? Because I can't see them. That's quite literally how he'd be feeling. All right, let's see. Boom, boom. Just quick little retouching. I'm trying. To, I'm trying my hardest to not have to restart my computer because like it's it's kind of pissing me off being that it's going so fast. Let me put my headphones on so I can get in that zone. I put my headphones on because it makes me feel better. Like I don't have nothing playing, but this type of silence is just so comforting. Like with my with my headphones on, like the type of silence that you get from the headphones for some reason is just so much more comforting than like regular silence i don't i don't know you know what i mean <clears throat> basic retouching basic retouching i might just do like these batches of photos right here rather than like doing all of them like maybe you guys want to see me edit all of them like that could i guess be another video you know like the basic editing workflow i guess that would be like a, a video within itself Let's see. The uh, it's hard to do this. Like, I don't got no music playing or nothing either. Like not even in my like ears or whatever. But I'm trying to cool down, bro. Like I got a lot kind of going on in my brain. But I just know that like the content wave is the wave, man. This is like I just know that this is the wave, bro. This is all I want to do, and I just feel like I gotta put my all into it. 
but y'all didn't come here for a therapy session y'all came here to see my editing workflow and this is quite literally my editing workflow all right let's see there's gonna be a behind the scenes drop in this video too i'm probably not even gonna like touch this until i get into photoshop yeah i don't want to touch that until i get into photoshop command zero if you guys don't know i mean well command minus is like backs it out but on the actual like when you're actually like in the actual editing software command um zero will like you know bring you back all the way all right so we're gonna work on which one should i work on should i work on these with the red or should i work on these green ones for you guys i'm probably gonna work on these red ones all right so we're gonna work on these right here so literally first thing i want to do is always just try to get everything that i need out like obviously this is a scar that she already has so it's like it doesn't have to go but i just do it just because like she doesn't mind you know what i'm saying it's like the one thing that i do move like she don't she don't be she don't be caring for real so i'm just kind of bouncing around with this right here boom boom i hate when it gets so jittery bro it makes me feel like it's going slow like what else is open like like geez there we go boom 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 there we go there we go So like all the little basic stuff, I just try to knock out, knock out real quick, knock out. And then I also look while I'm editing at like what I know I want to get rid of when I when like when I get there. Like for example, this is like this is her. This is how her 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 wrist quite literally is, which is like actually kind of like um crazy and scary a little bit. But I know I'm gonna push that in. I know I'm gonna push this in. I know I'm gonna fix this part up. I know I'm gonna fix this up. Like her legs, okay, boom. I see that she has like a lot of scarring on her legs. Let me go ahead and remove all of this from the legs and make sure that all of this is good boom 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 there you go boom boom so look i don't know why but i just feel like lightroom does such a better job at basic retouching than photoshop does bro like i don't know what it is but yeah boom 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 there you go boom Boom, there we go. There we go. There we go. I have a video that's gonna be dropping up tomorrow too, but this one's like one of those easier ones that kind of just like, you know, I kind of go through the motions and just, you know, talk to you guys basically and just say what I do. And I feel like that's good. So I'm gonna try to do like a few of these today. I need to probably restart my computer because this thing is like pissing me off at how slow it's going, bro. Like, oh, it's like, it's like jittery, bro. I'm gonna restart it for the next video because it's like, it's like making me mad. All right, so I'm gonna retouch all of these. Before I open any of them in Photoshop, I try to get all of them retouched. Like, I don't know what this black stuff is in her hair, but it's gonna become a problem later. So let me just go ahead and remove it right now. Cause it's like, why not? I'm just clicking. So if everybody doesn't know, I'm using the healing tool. I use the clone stamp tool as well. And like the, um, the, I use the, I mean, I'm content aware removing right now. So it's content aware removes. So I'm gonna remove and it's gonna replace it with something else near it. So for example, with the heel, for the best skin and quick cover ups, it says once you've brushed the area, Lightroom borrows the texture from another source in your photo to blend it with the current source, All right? So with this one, what I was using was the remove tool. So it says best for whole objects in the background. It says um, when you brush over an area that you want to remove, Lightroom will look at the surrounding area of that image that you selected and determine how to fill that area within the best look. So I use that one a lot of the time. I kind of just go up and down on my size. The opacity, I never really touch. I kind of always leave it at 100. If I ever like go over an eyebrow or something or some hair that like is like a different color and I'm not trying to go too crazy, then I might go down at like 50 of my opacity, but I never go below 50. So playing around with here, command zero. I don't know why. Okay, go back to the coloring. Command zero. All right. So the first thing that I do was like was was touch up all of that, like little basic stuff that I could touch up later too. I know that this part I'm going to get rid of. This part I'm going to push back. There's just parts that I know for a fact I'm going to end up pushing back. So yeah, I'm gonna bring this out. I just try to look at all of that that I know what I want to do later. So there's a lot of orange in here. So it's like I can't really get rid of a lot of orange because like there's orange in her skin too. So like when I pull the oranges back, you see what happens to her skin, but also to the bottom. So like you gotta be very strategic with this. I don't want her looking. So this is regular. She looks really orange. Like maybe that's something that I need to do a tutorial on because a lot of people be doing photo shoots and they like their 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 client be looking really orange and like them looking orange is not good. So what I do is I'll go up in red and here in the tone curves and play with these a little bit and see how I can 
change it around because something need to be cooler something need to be darker it's like that's a little bit better that's a little bit better let's see how that looks so this is how you get them moody dreamy creamy photos people are like oh my god how you did that that's how you do that right there man that thing right there you know what i'm saying and you turn that bit off you turn that bit on you turn that bit off hold on off turn off off on that's how you get that difference. Man, we playing in Lightroom today, okay? We out here playing in Lightroom today, quite literally, okay? So. All right, bet, let's see. <clears throat> bet. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and turn you back off. I'm gonna see which one I really need to play with. So this plays with the overall feel of the vibe of it. This one plays with the reds and the blues. This one plays with the regular tone curves that kind of are already there. So I'm gonna pull this one up a little bit, a little bit. And I need to pull this saturation down a little bit. Oh, there we go. Saturation just did it. The oranges are fine, everything. So I think this is good. I'm not gonna go up on my shadows a little bit more. I'm gonna bring up my, sat my exposure a little bit more. So I feel like I need to, I feel like I need to go back to clarity and up my clarity a little bit. Cause like, I don't know if you see, but she's kind of looking a little, let's see. Playing with Lightroom, man. Playing in Lightroom, let's see. So I need to go up on the blending of the colors. Let's see how this looks. Nope. So it's kind of just like trial and error. Like I really just go through everything and just try to play with it. Cause what most people say is like, oh, decide a preset and then go from the preset. But it's like, that just quite directly tells me that you're trying to like promote your preset and sell it, which indeed, you know what I'm saying? TaxiPNG.com, go ahead and check them out. But um, <laughs> but they be trying to promote their presets and it's like, bro, everything's not about a preset, you know? Sometimes, you know, it's like real raw, real raw, you know? Um, highlights down a little bit there you go there we go i kind of like that now i'm going to go into here and mask i'm going to mask subject make one mask of the subject and then after the subject is masked i'm going to create a new mask and i'm going to do the background so now i can like play with the background away from the subject herself so now i'm gonna play with the background mask and i can literally you can see what i can do with this with the background i can make it more white i can make it less white i can kind of play around with it if i want it to be pure white i can if I want it to be pure down i can if i want to up the shadows on it which is really why i came in here to up the shadows because if you see how up the shadows it made it whiter but it doesn't look fake like this is without it this is like darker right without it and then this is like upping the whites which kind of makes it look a little fake it doesn't make it look like and eh, you know what i'm saying you up the exposure it makes it look even more fake like she just got cut out it's too crisp it's too clear you look like an amateur okay you look like an amateur with this one so take that off and just up them shadows because it's going to take what's already there and it's going to mesh it you know what i'm saying now you want to click onto your subject mask and now just play with her separately so i'm probably going to up on it a little bit yeah see boom so now what i see is saturation of her actual body is too much i'm gonna go down a little bit probably like negative five negative four negative four negative four back to regular i don't know because she's looking a little young sand looking a little young sand contrast uh highlights oh boom there we go bet so now literally from the background to there now i'm gonna go up on texture with just her for five and then i'm gonna go up on my sharpness for 10 and then boom you know what I'm saying? Now this is ready to take it to Photoshop. This is ready to play with. This is ready to, you know what I'm saying? Smooth over and things of that nature, you know? So we could edit in Photoshop now. I always try to like keep it connected. I don't want to like export the file and then upload the file to Photoshop and then have to re-export it again. It's like, man, it's not going to be good. So I always go Command J, Command J. The first thing I want to do is crop it how I want it. So I want it to be a four by five. If you don't know how to do that, you go up here to the ratio. So instead of what it is right now, you go to four by five. You always want to make sure you have 300 pixels at minimum. It's like high quality when you scale it up, if you want to print it out, something like that. You never really print it out, but if you ever want to, you're able to because, you know, 400, 400, you know what I'm saying, pixels per inch. PPI is pixels per inch, guys, if you don't know that, pixels per inch. But boom, right here, 
always want to keep the subject in the middle relatively uh, i'm going to go ahead and click enter on this because the four by five if you also don't know the four by five ratio is also instagram a ratio for instagram instagram is four by five and a one by one so yeah you know what i'm saying those are the two um file formats for that so literally i use four by five because it's like it allows me to have more rather than a one by one it feels like i have to like rush and mesh everything together and force it i used to do squares all the time like if you look at my instagram feed i used to always do squares so but i kind of grew out of that and you know i kind of grew up you know i grew into myself you know into my real photographer self okay but command zero like i was telling you I'll go back to Twitcher tool and the command zero will pop it will pop it all the way up. So if you're already zoomed out and you go command zero, boom, it'll pop right there. So literally like that. And now I'm going to go command. I'm going to go shift command X. It's going to bring me to the liquify menu. And now with the liquify menu, I can play around a little bit more. I have this that I use. This allows me to be stationary, but also move at the same exact time because it has a little thumb pad and also click. And then I have two customizable buttons. But then I also have this pad right here. This is my Wacom tablet. This is very expensive. I wouldn't recommend. I mean, I would recommend it because it's great. But I'm saying if you got the bread, do it. You know what I'm saying? Go crazy. You know what I'm saying? On that link in my description. Ha ha ha. But nah, um... I love this thing though. This is the first thing I got. It was like 30 bucks. You know what I'm saying? It's a Logitech um, ball thing. You know what I'm saying? It's also in my in, on, the, on the thing too. So you can get the exact ones you want. I got I had got the upgraded one because I had I had another one. I think it's like it was matte. It's like matte now. But they have multiple different ones, but they're just different prices. Like this one was like 30 bucks. The other one's like 60 or something. But it's just it's like matte and it's like I guess a little bit more responsive, but I haven't found a problem with it so far, so I've just been using this. Because when I use it, when I go on the go, when I travel or anything, I gotta do some editing on the go. That's definitely 100% what I bring. You know what I mean? It's what I bring. All right, but let's see. Pop this boy up. There we go. Bam. Bam. See, look, literally just like nothing against her. You know what I'm saying? but I, I just had to pop them things in real quick you know what i mean now if you go command zero right in here in this same screen it pops back up to the full thing if you touch p it shows you before touch p it shows you after before after before after don't we like that after oh man you know what i'm saying she's gonna hate me when she sees this but it's just little things that i like to try to fix i'm gonna pick i'm gonna fix the hips too just a little bit you know what i'm saying i don't go crazy i'm not about to be like i'm not about to go wow wow i'm not about to go crazy you know what i'm saying that's insane this is insane right here you see this right here this right here is insane she's gonna kill me if she see this this is insanity all right i should make like a video of what not to do i think i'm about to make like a list i'm about to make a little list of like i'm gonna like videos to edit i got a video i'm gonna make a videos to edit and then i'm gonna do like a videos to create section um i'm writing it on my notebook right now videos to create and I'm like, how not to edit in Photoshop? Like, how not to edit portraits in Photoshop? It's gonna be hilarious, bro. I'm gonna do like all the wrong things. Like, I'm gonna like make. I gotta find somebody who's gonna be okay with that. She is 100%. She is, bro. If you guys don't know, I use her for everything because she's just like okay with it. All right, so I just went back. Did I go back? Command shift Z, Z, Z. Okay. Command Z. All right, bet. So, literally, I'm just bringing out a little bit. I like to call myself a natural editor because I don't try to go too crazy. I just fill out little spots of like, of just little spots like this. I would love for this to be rounded. Like, obviously, the body goes like that, but I want it to be a little bit rounded so that way it looks a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? It just looks more symmetrical. A lot of things are pleasing to the eye. The eye loves curves and things that are round. Like, that's just what the eye loves. Like, that's what's pleasing. Like, before, back in the day, perfect used to be like you know what i'm saying sharp edges and all of that stuff but now it's like pleasing to the eye especially like for social media and brands is curves like you want to be like oh my god ooh, like that's curvy like that's the you know that's the vibe it's like a little bit of curve stuff like that so even with the hair exaggerate the swoops a little bit more just make it that much more curly like literally something so simple just made this image so much better you know what i'm saying just bomb 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 real quick you know so yeah, and then let me see. I'm trying to I'm trying not to make this video too long. See, boom, pull this out real quick. There we go. See, boom. Now that's even. Bring this over a little bit. Separate this. So it's still like natural wrinkles in there. Push this in a little bit. Fix this right here. 
just little little stuff man just like little stuff it's just little little minor fixes that like you know things that i feel like i should fix the knee right here pop that in pop that in right there see look simple you know what i'm saying a little nice easy you don't even gotta go too crazy it's just little things now so i know i gotta retouch that out i gotta retouch this out so i just see stuff that i know i need to do now so now when i go back in again command plus 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 i can go to my patch tool in photoshop i love to use my little patch tool man the patch tool will be, be working with me you know what i'm saying you grab what you want to patch and you bring it over you grab what you want to patch you bring it over and it's just like it duplicates the same pixels you know what i'm saying within it for this one i'm probably not gonna use the patch tool i probably could let me see it looks okay it's not bad i could use the patch tool you always want to use the patch tool for bits don't try to use the patch tool for the whole thing and then move it over you're gonna mess it up you see that right there because what is that you're gonna mess it up but what i would say is always change between the two i use the spot healing brush tool and i use the patch tool both so i use both of them multiple times i just don't try to overdo overstep you know what i'm saying like here this should work good because it went across you see what i'm saying but if you were to use the other the other tool it wouldn't have did it like how he just tried see like boom see it replaces those pixels so like this one i need the pixels back so i'm gonna need to go like that boom see so different different tools are for different jobs so i don't know if you guys want to see stuff like that too try to actually comment for me you guys so i could like you know see what y'all actually want to see so i'm not just like you know mindlessly posting boom 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 there we go there we go so literally i'm almost done with this up here i kind of do the same exact thing like i kind of just like go to a patch tool and kind of play between the two like you can do a healing brush tool you did the patch tool to kind of like play with the lace and like make it look as like real as possible and then when you like export it what you want to do when you export is like you want to make sure that you export it as a png so that way the file format stays like high quality file format so literally like boom lace wear oh you know per lace wear per that um I try to keep dropping so many i'm trying to keep dropping hella videos for y'all man y'all be fiending on youtube on the instagram taxi png if you guys don't have the instagram already taxi png on all platforms boy but i'm trying to get this um free patreon going so let me know join that thing it's already up but i'm just trying to like gain a community i just want people to talk in there like we all talk in there then it's like not everybody can learn you know what i'm saying i'm trying to make it free for a while and just like have a community man and then like you know when i really start like dropping more like tutorials and stuff like okay there'll be more paid stuff stuff like that but for now it's like i just want to build a community of people who want to like who all want the same thing we can all learn from each other and stuff like that it's like i don't want to like make it seem like you know i'm the all-knowing god or something like, i'm not bro. i don't know everything i'm a guide and not a guru i'm not gonna you know try to promote that i know everything because i don't but i can help you find the answers you know what i'm saying if i don't know the answer i'll probably learn it and then teach it that's like my goal is to like learn and then teach you guys i think this one right here for 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 the most part is good right now i think so for sure i could run an action on it and do a lot more but i don't think it really needs it so i'm gonna go to my business content bring over my my um watermark always placing your watermark is like not crazy hard but it's kind of like personal preference like based like on what you how long has it been rolling i don't know no idea but it's based like on what you on what you how you want to do it but i usually try to put it in one of the creases of the body like right here or like right here might be good but i'm gonna put it right here because it might not distract the eye try to make it symmetrical like enough things popping on both sides so if that one pops right there it's not that bad and i'll literally just command c this and then now when i open up the next ones it'll it'll be on here as well so literally i'm gonna just redo the exact same thing to these photos too so it's literally just gonna be like another copy and paste to the same types of photos so literally with this one what i would do is i would hit the x no hold on i'm gonna try to play around with it so i'm gonna go here i'm gonna go to filter i'm gonna go to neural filters dang bro y'all made me miss my food man i think it's cold now mm. Mm-hmm. Learn how to cook.
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to photo restoration. I'm gonna click artifact removal on. Wait for that to process. What this is gonna do is being that being that I shoot in JPEG, it's gonna hurt it's gonna help restore the artifacts from the JPEGs. So people are like, oh my god, what are artifacts? So basically it's like a little like those extra little pixels that you see when you shoot a JPEG image, basically. And you can decide the strength that you want, whether you want it to be low, medium, or high. You can decide the strength that you want the artifacts to be removed. So you really probably can't see it, but it will definitely make a difference when you put it onto your um when you post it. So like I can see it a little bit, but you guys might not be able to. I'm really turning it on, turning it off. But then you want to go to photo restoration and click enhance. Photo enhancement, I'm gonna bring it down to like 15 because I'm not trying to go too crazy. Where's 15 at? I'm trying to put a bit of 15. 15. I put it at 15 and now you just let it just do what it do and then I'm gonna change my output down here I'm gonna change my output down here to new layer so that way it doesn't like mess up my previous layer and it just creates a new layer and instead of messing up my previous layer <sighs> excuse me you guys sorry I'm, man, I'm eating I'm trying to get right let's see I think this photo I think this video did good yeah Yeah, I think that one was good, like how I shoot. I had made a reel on it, on like shooting in JPEG basically, and like how I shoot in JPEG and why I shoot in JPEG and stuff. And that video did pretty good. So I mean, I guess another one like that would do good also. If I did another one. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So turn it off, turn it on. I know you guys can't see it, but I can. Like, you know what I'm saying? It just enhanced the photo like so much. So I'm going to go new layer and I'm going to click OK. And what it's going to do is create a new layer on top of. Oh, there's the cookies. Be right back. I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it.